the masters in engineering management a degree that has been gaining so much popularity in recent years a degree that so many of you are considering and if you're watching this video yourself you're considering it too now what makes the engineering management so very popular why are so many students applying to it with the rise in digital products and with process automation becoming the most important factor for so many manufacturing companies. There is a need for managers who understand technology and also bring in the management principles to the table. And that's where engineering managers are in great demand in the job market. A lot of you might have heard of product management. A lot of you might have heard of operations managers and supply chain managers. And analysts are of course present in every organization now. Engineering management is exactly the degree that gives you the skills to take on these roles and hence it is extremely popular. Now that we've established why engineering management is the in thing right now, your obvious question is going to be what are the best universities to pursue these degrees? In today's video, I'm going to cover according to me what the top 10 engineering management programs are in the US. As a bonus, I'll tell you some very good engineering management programs outside the US as well, right at the end. So stay tuned. Coming in at number 10 is a very popular university. It's Northeastern University located in Boston. Now, Northeastern has a very large class size and it may not be very, very selective. But I still rate it very highly because the curriculum is very, very broad. It allows you to get into a large number of career outcomes. In fact, the most popular ones, product management and project management are something that Northeastern does very, very well. Also, Northeastern has a co-op program and the benefits of a co-op program cannot be denied because you're allowed to work during the second year of your education. Therefore, you're earning and also gaining valuable experience as you complete your master's. Northeastern's location in Boston is also terrific which is a hub for a lot of techno managerial jobs. Downsides, of course, it's a very, very large class. Therefore, the competition for jobs is going to be high. And perhaps one wouldn't say it's an elite university in terms of brand name, even though it's very, very good. But Northeastern features at number 10 on this list. Coming in at number nine is a massive brand. And this brand is New York University, popularly known as NYU. Located in Brooklyn, NYU's Tundon School of Engineering offers the management of technology program, which is essentially an engineering management program in itself. The curriculum is very management oriented. So those of you who don't want a quant heavy curriculum will enjoy it. Um, of course, the location is a massive, massive advantage because New York City, as you know, is a hub for jobs. Downsides, it is on the expensive side for what it offers. Therefore, you're going to be shelling out a lot of money and even living expenses are going to be high because of the location. However, the brand is going to take you places and that's why it features at number nine on this list. Coming in at number eight is almost a new kid on the block, a new engineering management program. North Carolina State University or NCSU has recently started an engineering management program, which is a spin-off of its very popular industrial engineering program. As a result, this curriculum is very, very oriented towards operations management and supply chain. However, there are a broad enough range of electives so that you can specialize in different areas. North Carolina State's university's location is also very, very underrated. It is in an area known as the Research Triangle Park in North Carolina, which is a hotbed for jobs. And therefore, you'd be well served with the companies that are coming in to recruit from this university. North Carolina State can also work out to be reasonable in terms of tuition when you compare it to the other top 10 engineering management programs. As a result, I rate it very highly and it features at number 8 on this list. At number 7 is a very popular school that you'd probably know for its bio-related fields. But what you should know is Johns Hopkins University's MSEM, Masters of Science in Engineering Management, is one of the best programs in the world. The curriculum is flexible, the course is one and a half years, which is, if you ask me, the ideal length for an MEM program. It offers an international immersion where you're allowed to solve problems or do consulting projects with companies across the world which no other MEM program in the top 10 offers. And also it's a very, very selective class. Another fun fact about the Johns Hopkins MSEM program is that its starting salaries have been on the rise. In the last year, they've reported median starting salaries in the 100,000 to 110,000 range, which is incredibly impressive. Johns Hopkins, however, has technical tracks and you cannot escape these technical tracks. You have to take them to graduate. Therefore, if you're okay with a slightly more technically oriented curriculum, then Johns Hopkins will be great for you. Another slight downside to this program is that it is very, very expensive. You are looking at a tuition fee itself of about $90,000, which makes it one of the most expensive universities on this list. But return on investment is solid. Therefore, it's at number seven on this list. 
Number six on the top 10 MEM programs list, according to me, is a university that perhaps has the best ROI among all. Why I say this is because Purdue University's engineering management program works out so much cheaper than a lot of the other top 10 schools while giving you incredibly good starting salaries. Purdue is again an excellent school and pretty much every program it offers is top notch and its engineering management program is no exception. But what's the catch here? Why is it not number one? Well. Purdue's curriculum is not as flexible for those of you who come from the non-circuit branches. Therefore, if you are a mechanical engineer looking at supply chain, manufacturing or operations roles, Purdue's curriculum is fantastic. If you come from the software side and you want to get into product management per se, Purdue's curriculum you will see is not the friendliest. Therefore, it's a slightly more rigid program with focus on operations. However, if those are your areas of interest, you can't go wrong with Purdue. It's an outstanding school with outstanding return on investment and that's why it sits at number six on this list. All right, things are heating up now as we hit the top five and which school is sitting at the fifth position according to me? Well, it is perhaps the first school that comes to your mind when you talk about engineering management programs. I'm talking about Duke. Now Duke University's engineering management program has an incredibly flexible curriculum. It is a hub for product managers and product management is of course the in thing right now. It allows you to take so many electives that you can tailor the course in any which way you want. And it is a fantastic university in terms of reputation as well. The duration of the course is flexible. You can finish it in a year or the ideal length that's a year and a half. You get to do an internship in the summer and it's all rosy when you talk about the Duke MEM, right? But of course, there have to be downsides and I will point out the downsides for every university without bias. For Duke, the class size is an issue. Last year, they admitted over 220, 230 students. And while they're trying to reduce that class size, it is still easily one of the largest MEM programs going around. Therefore, the competition for jobs is high. However, with the fantastic curriculum and the location in the Research Triangle Park, remember the Research Triangle Park? I spoke to you about it when I was talking about NCSU. Well, the location is a massive advantage. Coupled with its fantastic curriculum, reputation and location, you should be absolutely fine in terms of return on investment with Duke. But the large class size is an issue. If you're okay with that, absolutely go for it. All right, we are almost reaching the top now with number four. Now, well, at this point, no prizes for guessing. There are some very popular programs left and Cornell is the one that features at number four. Now, Cornell is an extremely selective class. They have a typical class size of 45 to 55 people. The starting salaries have been very high. Um, the quality of the class is fantastic. And Cornell, as you know, is an Ivy League school, so the reputation is brilliant. The curriculum is also very favorable, not too oriented towards tech focus or not very, very heavily management focus. So it has the perfect balance and therefore it is an outstanding school in all respects. Now, the slight drawback with the Cornell Engineering Management program is that it's a strictly nine month long program. So you will have only two semesters to finish your program and look for a job. That can be tight for a lot of people, but again, I've not had too many Cornell grads struggle for jobs. There is an option to extend the Cornell program to three semesters, but then you have to pay one and a half times the fee, which doesn't make sense. The length is the biggest drawback of the Cornell program, and that's what prevents it perhaps from featuring slightly higher on this list. But once again, it's an outstanding program, which you should be happy to get into. At number three is another Ivy League school. How many of you have heard of Columbia? I'm pretty sure it's all of you. The Ivy League in New York City is the third best engineering management program on this list. Of course, it's called the MSND, which is Management Science and Engineering as per their nomenclature. Now, Columbia's location is fantastic. It's in the heart of New York City. Its reputation is unmatched. It's a brand that will serve you well throughout your life. But, 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 there is always a but. It is incredibly expensive. An Ivy League in the heart of New York City is a financial nightmare and you'll be shelling out a lot of money. Second issue with Columbia's Management Science and Engineering program is that it is very, very quantitative focused with a heavy focus on operations research. Therefore, if you want to get into analytics or maybe finance roles, it makes a lot more sense. Those looking at more general management or product management or project management roles will not find the curriculum too friendly. But because of its brand name, reputation and the kind of starting salaries graduates from Columbia command, it sits firmly at number three on this list. Almost there now, we are talking about the school that sits at number two. And here comes Dartmouth College, my alma mater, that's where I did my engineering management. Don't worry, there's no bias in my judgment at all. I'm giving you my opinion based on the students that have gone to all of these universities. And they tell me that Dartmouth is outstanding. And therefore, it sits at number two on this list. 
that much engineering management program in terms of curriculum is probably the most well rounded with people who are interested in technical fields getting what they want people looking at pure management strategy and marketing getting what they want and people who want to get into operations and supply chain also having a whole gamut of electives the program is rigorous because of the heavy course load in shorter quarters that you have to take instead of semesters the starting salaries are extremely high and this is partly because of the very small class size of 50 people this program is very selective with an acceptance rate of perhaps around the 1% mark and the class quality is fantastic the resources on offer like the ccc which is the corporate collaboration council the outstanding career services that nudge you towards getting internships and the internship component being baked into the program ensures that your job search is very very well handled in the best possible way by the university itself of course like with every program there will be downsides and the downside with dartmouth is that the location may not be the best dartmouth is called the college in the woods and that's what it exactly is it is a college in the woods far away from many major cities however boston is only a 2 and a half hour drive and you can get to new york in about a 5 and a half hour drive and that's where a lot of candidates get jobs and go to interview dartmouth grads also get a lot of jobs way on the other coast on the west coast in the bay area so therefore job opportunities are not an issue but if you want a vibrant dynamic urban campus life then dartmouth is not for you it is a very quiet cozy college town and now we finally arrive at number 1 and no surprises here i think a lot of you will have guessed stanford university's management science and engineering program is my number 1 engineering management program on this list now what do i say about stanford it is probably one of the finest universities in the world if not the finest every program that it offers is outstanding and the return on investment is fantastic location wise also unparalleled and stanford is a brand that will stick with you for a lifetime downsides of course is the program is again quant heavy therefore people looking for more general management type programs will not like the stanford management science and engineering and the curriculum is extremely rigorous not to mention the fact that it is also an extremely selective program therefore even if you aspire to get into it by all means apply but have backups ready because this is a very very selective program so that wraps up my list of top 10 engineering management programs keep in mind that rankings are not everything this is a good place for you to start and begin your research and read up about these programs now don't get your knives and stakes out to try and stab me if i have not mentioned a program that you are considering there are other very good engineering management programs as well that might suit your interest based on the curriculum cost and location some of the others that are very good that i have not mentioned are northwestern the university of illinois at urbana champaign the university of colorado at boulder and certain others these are also very very good programs and they may fit your needs far better than any of the top 10 as well so don't go blindly by what i'm telling you this is an informed opinion of where you can start with your research if you found this video interesting then you should probably check out the interview that i did with an amazon product manager who is a dartmouth grad who is doing fantastically well in his career and you will understand how to crack the top mem programs and how to navigate a career uh, you know towards product management you can use this link to access that video it will be super informative now if you have a different opinion and want to suggest other universities or you want to ask our suggestions on the universities you have in mind you can use the comment section below and we'll be happy to reply oh so i almost forgot but don't worry i've got you covered i promise that i'm going to tell you about some engineering management programs outside the us that are good well here are a few in canada you have mcgill university with the masters in management with an analytics track this is a very good program you have the master of technology program at tu delft in the netherlands this is an outstanding program in terms of jobs and roi too additionally you have engineering management programs at uc dublin which is also a terrific school if you want to go to ireland now of course just knowing about universities is not going to help you out too much you need to know whether you can get in there and how to tailor your profile to make it there uh, to know that you need to schedule a free consultation call with us at www.gradwine.com if you found this video useful or informative or if you want to share it with your friends please go ahead and do so but before you go away please like share and subscribe so that you can see more such useful content from gradwine